Hello everyone, uh, I'm really excited to film this video, I don't know why I haven't done it sooner. Today I'm going to transform into Xena. I'm very, very, very sweaty today <laughs> and the first part of the process involves fake tan, so does sweat affect fake tan? I feel like it must. I don't know how well this is going to go, I've only ever applied fake tan about this will probably be the third time in my entire life. I'm taking my top off now, but don't panic. I'm not naked. I'm a massive Xena nerd, if you didn't already know. Uh, I have been since I was a kid. I I love Xena to bits. Xena is probably the thing I am the most crazy about, like my number one fan, fandom, fan thing. I've only had my natural hair colour again for a few months now, and as soon as I went back dark, I immediately was like, thinking about thinking Xena things. I decided recently that I'm going to try again to grow my fringe out and before my fringe gets so long that it would look silly, uh, I wanted to cosplay as Xena again. My fringe is completely inspired by Xena. I had a fringe, like a block fringe, when I was a kid and then when I was maybe about seven or eight it had grown out and then when I was around 13 or 14 I got into Xena and got the fringe cut back in and it's been here ever since. <laughs> but I can't have a block fringe forever just because I have some emotional Xena connection to it. <laughs> so let's get started. The first thing I need to do is tan. <laughs> the tan that I'm using is Beyond Bronze by Fake Bake Instant Wash Off Premium Tan for Face and Body Matte Medium. Now don't judge me but this is definitely out of date, but I tested it on my legs, it works still and I didn't get like a horrible skin disease, so I'm just going to use it. I don't want to buy a whole new fake tan just for this video, <laughs> and I accept the consequences if there are any. I'm sorry if anything about my application process upsets people that fake tan all the time and know what they're doing. I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm just going with the flow, okay? Don't care if it's not perfect. So I'm gonna wash it off later. Oh, but I am a bit nervous. <laughs> my dress that you can see hanging on the door behind me, I have to be like laced up into that like a corset. Um, so I'm gonna try and do the tan really quick and then when Alex is home on his lunch break from work, I'm gonna get him to lace me up. There's a knock at my door. <laughs> Oh no, I can't answer the door like this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go do my legs and like finish this properly off camera and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, I'm in my dress. <laughs> Got my tan on, it's a little bit patchy, which could be because it's out of date could be because I don't know how to put fake tan on properly. I think it went quite well, all things considered. So now I'm gonna get into doing my makeup. Xena's makeup changed a lot throughout the show. Her tan changed throughout the show as well. Yes, you I too can brows. have the Xena tan. If you just buy Viziora by Christian Dior. In some of the earlier seasons, she was very dark and almost had quite dark like eyeliner and very light lips. Then as the tan calmed down a bit, the lipstick became much more brown, there was less eye makeup, and I don't do anything like exactly 100% copied from a particular Xena picture when I do this makeup. I just use the Xena colour palette. <laughs> like as long as it's kind of browns and pinky brownie nudes uh, and you just do it in the same kind of style as Xena, then you can't really go wrong. So I bought the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in shade three. Hopefully this is gonna match. I don't have a plan for what to do if it doesn't. <laughs> I also have a lighter one to then like highlight certain bits. Yeah, that looks all right. That looks pretty good actually. You know what? I actually really like the way I look with a tan, but I couldn't be bothered to self tan all the time. I feel a bit nervous about going to a salon to get it done, <laughs> but I also don't want to tan in the sun, so What's a girl to do? <laughs> I'm gonna take my tunnels out real quick. I feel like it's ruining the authenticity. <laughs> now I'm gonna try the lighter, uh, bleh, the lighter concealer. <laughs> If 
before I do anything else, I'm gonna curl my fringe. It's getting to that point where like, I'm gonna curl it just to kind of lift it up a bit. I just have this like tiny little wand that I got years and years ago from Argos. The way I curl my fringe is very like incremental. I kind of do little bits at a time and we gradually get there. Some bits of my fringe I need to curl more than others because it's not straight. I have a cow's lick so my fringe is constantly uneven. It kind of has to be uneven to look even, which is weird. Hallelujah, I got my eyebrows back. <laughs> so I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows now. I accidentally just reached into my makeup box and plunged my fingers into eyeshadow and now I've got purple eyeshadow stuck all up my fingernails. <laughs> I'm gonna sacrifice my glass of water. Now I'm gonna do some bronzer. Cheekbones are a very important weapon. If you get them sharp enough, you might not even have to fight someone. You can just intimidate them. Now I'm gonna go in with a darker one. I'm gonna try using the Feeling Younger Skin Tint from Lush um, as a highlight. Hopefully it will look a bit more natural than some blingy powder, you know? For my eyes, I'm using this ancient palette. I'm gonna use this light brown color all over my lid. Then I'm just gonna use a slightly darker brown to kind of emphasize my crease a little bit. And rather than a tiny bit of eyeliner under my eye, like I'm pretty sure she has, I'm just gonna use a bit of the darker eyeshadow. I'm gonna use a bit of Emotional Brilliance Translucent Face Powder from Lush. I'm really liking this face powder. It just stops my face looking like particularly shiny, but then it also doesn't mattify it so much that it looks dry and like cakey. I'm gonna pop some mascara on. I'm using the Eyes Right Mascara from Lush. This one's running out, I need to get another one. I really, really like this. Oh, damn it. I forgot as well, I'll do it in a second. I was gonna add a bit of brown eyeshadow, kind of as a eyeliner on my top lid. Right, so with that dark brown again, I'm just gonna add a bit along here. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna do my lips now and I think I'm gonna use um, Celebrity Skin from Jeffree Star. This lip liner, by the way, is Tootsie from Colourpop. And I think we are done. Now with my hair, I'm probably just gonna brush it. Xena wore it in quite a few different styles throughout the series. I honestly prefer it when they didn't really do anything to it and it just looked like her hair was just down naturally. Now, my favorite part, we're gonna put the armor on. These armbands were the very first thing I got for my costume. When I was like 15, 16 at the time, my arms have changed size and shape a lot since then. Sometimes I've worn them and my fat has been squishing out of them. But let's see how they fit today. <laughs> Feels a little bit snug. Just these and the dress is often what Xena wore as like her chilling outfit. <laughs> so that's cash Xena. Now, eh, uh, God, it's not that these are too small, it's that I'm really sweaty. Hey, Xena was probably sweaty a lot, right? From all the jumping about. It's authentic. <laughs> costume is a mix of handmade and purchased things. The dress me and my nan made together. This is about the 
third one that we made. The boobs were the most difficult part. Getting the cups to sit right was really difficult. It's made from material that you line sofas with. <laughs> It all means something. All this is Maori design, and it's and it's to do with wahine, which is women, women and um, empowerment. And yeah, so that's it. That's my transformation complete. I feel like people are gonna be expecting me to do the Xena yell at this point, but one, I'm not that great at it, and two, I live in an attached house with very thin walls. <laughs> I'll insert a sound effect and just imagine it's me. <laughs> Wasn't that great? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.